Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire and Plays RimWorld. Um, so what do we do now? I mean, everybody's back in good health. Almost everybody's in good morale, looking at you of all days, you and your dep depressive ways. Uh, there's a bit of blood here, but it's going to be taken care of at some point in the future. So one thing I've noticed is that our batteries are not full anymore so we are consuming a little bit more energy than we are making and we also need one uh, a line there so i blame the numerous um, heaters we have and the two new sentries we've added it doesn't really matter much at this point uh, i'm probably going to add some um, wind turbines on the sides here, maybe uh, two or four, depending on how many spaces we'll have left once we build the other rooms. However, we desperately need to think about our defenses. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to pause the game for a while and just look at what our options are. Because as you can see, I cannot build here. This is marsh. Uh, a marsh? Marches? Whatever. Uh, I can't build here. But I would really like to. Uh, maybe not that far, though. Maybe as far as this wall is already there. So this would be a good placement. But already we have some uh, walls we cannot build on. Areas. Terrain here cannot support this. All right. Uh, well, this would be, I think, enough space. Maybe a bit too much, too. Hmm, let's think things through. Could want it here, but then again, it's even less terrain. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to go for a an unusual combination, I think. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Right. Uh, this I want to. This and that. And all those. Now, the reason why I can't build walls over this is because we've got the heavy machine gun, but uh, we're just going to remove that. Um, so we need more granite walls. The reason also why I'm, I'm pausing the game while I'm doing this is because I... I'm not sure I want those to be built, and I don't want our people to be overzealous. And should I include this part? Make two entrances, but that would require some a bit more work, I think. If I did like that. Uh, let's say I do that. I've got those. Well, this could be the entrance. That's good. And on this side, nothing, huh? This is all marsh. Jesus Christ. This is. Yeah, this is not working out. Uh, how about this, then? This could be another entrance, but... Kind of want to not do that. There you go. I, I wish I could wait for... Um, I wish I could wait for Summer to decide. But summer ain't coming. Uh, we're already... We're not even at the end of winter yet. Well, almost done with winter, but not yet. So what I'm going to do is just see where I can build. And, well, this gives quite a natural entrance. But I'm not too happy about it. It's this side I can deal with. It's not symmetrical, but it makes sense. And this is a good entrance for this side. But this, ugh, this doesn't work at all. Because remember, we need to have two walls 
a two walls wide uh, stop. So, ugh. I'm probably going to cancel all of this, but at least now we know basically where uh, this will go. Jesus Christ, this is ugly. It would count as defense, but, huh. Anyway, I th what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel all of the area here. And this too. But I'm going to keep the bottom part, because I'm, I'm good with this. This is good. And I will also double it. If I can, which... Uh, well, I'm going to make it on the inside then, because... Uh, it has to be doubled, and I don't want it to look too ugly. Like, a little bit ugly is good, but not too ugly. Alright, there you go. And I cannot, so it will be on this side. This. That looks good. Can I do this? Ooh, I can, actually. Perfect. So I will do this. I'm going to keep this uh, free for now. Uh, just because we might want to use the heavy, machines gun, heavy machine gun's nest. Although, now I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to make it on the inside. Just like that. Perfect. So the heavy machine gun will actually be super protected for now. It will not be a long-term solution, but a short-term one would be good. So now we've got some things to do for our builders and haulers, for a while at least. And we have to be careful, because I see a bear here. And we know what happens when animals attack. Alpha beavers too are quite a bother, because they eat all the trees. As you can see, there's a shit ton of trees missing. I think that's the last of their species, though. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let him li live, and we'll see later if that was the right idea. Uh, what to do now while we wait? Well, uh, I know Jessie's cooking like a mad woman. What is she wearing? She's wearing the cloth parka. Right. Does the... Police uniform is not good enough. Well, you know, if she's happy with it, it doesn't matter all that much. So she will keep cooking for a while. But actually, what that? No, wait. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna let her cook that meal, and once it's done, yeah. We're going to suspend this. And she's going to well rest first. Yeah. But once that's done, she will actually butcher every animal and clean up a little bit of the mess uh, that's here right now. And as far as the wall is going, everything is going fine, actually. Minus 27 outside. You know, it's pretty cold. Reminds me of uh, June in Canada. <laughs> and we'll have much more rice than we need for as long as we need it. While everything happens, Roughchild will be our researcher and Colin our stonecutter. So I think this is good. Uh, this is a... Uh, We've got some good things going on, and we can start thinking about uh, a bit of a longer term. Longer term survival, I think. Because we'll have some very good defenses, eventually. I mean, right now we've got good walls, and we need to supplement those walls with uh, better sentry guns. Like these, military-grade turrets. 
these are not the best guns we can find. We have much better guns uh, we'll be able to research. But for now, everything's going all right. And we'll have the vitals monitors, monitors which will help us um, heal our colonists much faster. And as Jessie takes care of the animals, she will make more leather, leather or other skin here. And that gives us more resources for the future. Or just, you know, to sell to traders. So I'm scared of the bear here. And I've seen... Oh shit, there's... They've eaten all the goddamn trees on this side. There are no more trees at all. And all this blood here must have been some alpha beavers back in the day. There are some ibexes. Uh, give me a second. Mm, Alright, my apologies. I've got some problems with my microphone at some points, and I want to make sure it doesn't bother you guys. Alright. Ooh, yeah. Finished the research on the vitals monitors, which means two things. First of all, we can build those, but then we can start thinking about some better researches. And I am thinking about... Is it Shredder? No, it's Shard Tech. Yeah, those will give us some very useful uh, turrets at some point. So Roughchild is already on it. Uh, this is one of the longer term researches. And once that's done, I'll either go for the Kinetic Tech or for the Advanced Geothermal Power. Uh, We'd get uh, a lot more power, but um, I don't know if we have the materials to build it yet. As you can see, the heavy machine gun's nest is not enough to block passage. The hollerbot just went through it. So it's good. It's a good defense, but it's not perfect at all. So for now, it will do because we uh, already have... This area that's unblocked, but we'll really have to find a better way to um, utilize this area. Now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering, can I do this and this like that? If I do this, uh, it's too dark. I can't see. Um, I don't know if I like it. Because you want to give them only one entry point, and right now that's. I mean, one entry point that is one wide. Right now, this is not that. Um, how, how, how do I work things through right now? How do I make this work? Because they can hide here. And that's a problem. I don't want them to hide anywhere. One of the things I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to move our batteries on the other side here. Um, the reason for that is I'm probably going to get rid of this um, small area, this small building, and make it so that our batteries are here, but also that this will be a little bit easier to close off. The reason why I used this is because it was already there once we landed. Uh, the rabbit? Silly rabbit. See, the rabbit doesn't care and walked all over the heavy machines. 
The one thing I'm afraid is that the marsh up north is going to be much too big to um, let us just build a wall here. And what I'm afraid is that we'll have to probably encircle it with walls. Oh shit. Alright. We are being raided and one of the raiders is the lover of Roughchild. Well, I'm sorry to say Roughchild, but your lover is probably gonna die. Ah oh, shit, they've got good guns too. Uh, they will prepare for a while. A while. What the fuck is that? An ogre knot? Jesus Christ! And he's got a rivet cannon. Damn! Well, I kind of want it. I'm kind of afraid. All days, what the f fudge? Hollerbot. All right. Um. Well, they're gonna take stuff here, but I'm going to cancel all the orders. And Hollerbot, what the f fudge? No, go do something else. Uh, because right now they are waiting, but if they do see somebody reach them, they will attack. Hmm. Well, our walls are not completed. Fire them. How about you go build those first? This is gonna take uh, much too long. Pico, why? Why would you do that? Go, go, go do something else. And... Colin has much more than necessary things to do, so he's he'll be doing okay for now. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of them, and they have guns. Uh, they are feral guns, so they're not that dangerous, but they they are still guns. You know? Come on, fire them! They are beginning their attack. Shit! All right. Um, everybody, that's everybody except for, uh, is it Pico? Who's fun? Rough child, rough child cannot fire his gun, her gun. And we got rid of the shield, so, so she will be, uh, useless in that fight. So everybody else is now drafted and is coming here as usual. Um, I'm pretty sure they will come from the upside. So fire them will man the gun. Jesse will hide behind this wall. All this here. Sushi. Uh, I don't know, here. Hollerbot is hauling rice. Perfect. Colin, come here. Pico, come here. Oh shit, they're going bottom. They're going on the bottom side. Are they though? Oh, fire them. I think he should go and man this gun here. Colin, since I really like you, you're staying back. Hiko, you are coming here. Is that a good idea? I don't know, man. I'm kind of afraid. Uh, you know what, Tico? Uh, come, come here. Uh, here. Don't want to make him go too close. Valdez, you're coming here, and Jesse. They're mostly going from the bottom side. Oh shit! Don't tell me he's he's attacking sushi. Fuck. Um, fire them. We'll shoot at the fox first. All right. Perfect. Go man the gun. Well, this is a bit loud. Wait, wait. this is way too loud. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if this was too loud for you too, but all right. Uh, Valdez has been hurt. Not that much though, so it's all right. Ooh, what the fuck? That was a, a rocket machine gun, I'm pretty sure. It's men the guns, though.
Alright, this is perfect. Is it? It's... Oh, Cave is the leader of the enemy. Huh. Alright. Uh, can he still be shot? Yeah. Valdez, do you have range? Not at all. Alright, well, everybody is going to be undrafted. Going to unforbid everything first. Everybody here is undrafted. And I do want Speedy. Speedy. Incapable of uh, intellectual and crafting. But he's good at construction and mining. Hmm. Terrible at shooting, though. Alright, you know what? I'm going to be nice for once. Sushi, you are going to capture Speedy. And we are going to save Speedy. Oh well, it was worth a try. Well, everything went quite well. Fire them got shot and nothing permanent except for, of course, his left arm and his eighth rib. As far as Valdez go, nothing serious. Perfect, so Speedy will be re uh, released. Uh, once he's healed. And since we did not kill a uh, cave, um, Roughchild is not unhappy. See, Roughchild has absolutely nothing negative to say about this place. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it, Valdez. Friend bull died. Eh. Stuff like that happens. Experiencing acute pain. That's the ribs. Tasty, tasty ribs. Those uh, travelers from Village at the Stream are friends of ours, and since they have nothing to trade, they are 100% irrelevant. Fire them. Everything's going great. Cleaner bot is simply not doing what I would like him to do, or it. Yeah. And Speedy has been released in full health. Well, not full health, but you know what I mean. Maybe I should have waited for Speedy to um, to be fully healed, and then released released him. But ah, doesn't matter all that much in the end. Doesn't really matter. Perfect. Fire them is healed, and we'll start repairing. Really want wish we could use our. I said I would look it up, and I totally forgot, and I have absolutely zero excuses about that. Now, now we wait. I guess the defense has actually worked quite well. Um, this is not the way I would like things to go, um, because I do want a heavy machine gun nest to fire at the entrance, but I don't want it to be outside of the uh, blocked off area. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> the uh, Do you see that on the video? I think you should see it. How this has been shot so the, the snow has been melted, but since we've repaired this part, the snow is back again. Oh shit. A local elk has gone mad. This one. Sure, you know, one elk is absolutely no problem at all. Valdez is idle. Are we done? Oh shit, well, we've grabbed everything, that's perfect. Um, Valdez, what the hell could you do? I mean, I couldn't give him some crafting. And smithing. You know, once he's done doing everything, he'll go do that. Why can he not stone cut? Uh, she. Why can't she not? 
Oh, because I've uh, suspended this. Collins. All right. Well, you know what? At this point, Valdez, you're just being a dick. Where's the elk? Oh, the, the elk is actually going to face uh, the sentries. <laughs> you know, wait. Why did they shot only once? One and dead. Perfect. Valdez, why would you not? I said. Oh, did I give it to? I gave it to Tico. <laughs> my bad. Valdez. Sorry about that. It's my bad. All right, this is perfect. Firedem is repairing everything. Everybody's happy. Colin just tried to uh, get Valdez, but was rebuffed. You know what? That's all right. Firedem is going to keep on trucking on. And since we haven't received anything out of the freedom of whoever was we saved, I, I'm guessing we have to wait until they're fully healed before letting them go. So I'm going to do that uh, the next time we get someone. And well, that's it. Um, I'm not unhappy about the building of the defenses on this side. Honestly, it's taking a lot longer than I would have hoped. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to add a door on the other side here, just in case they need to quickly go from this area to this one or vice versa, they will be able to go through instead of going all the way here. Although what I'm thinking now is I should just push this. Oh, those are marsh. Yeah, forget about that. Anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter all that much uh, as we are building our defenses, which is perfect. This is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, I would really like to have your questions or comments in the small box below the video. If you have any ideas or good points you would make about my base or how I'm managing my people, I would love to hear about it. And if you have five seconds, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel or like the video, it would help a tremendous amount. In any case, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.